Today we're flying high in the future skies. Welcome to What the Future. On today's show, we're taking a look at experimental aircrafts aiming to shake up the aerospace industry. From supersonic flying saucers to a high altitude aircraft that could stay airborne for a whole year, the future is coming and we've got it covered. Let's get into it. Part flying saucer and part quadcopter, this miniature is a prototype of an unmanned aerial vehicle called a DEFO, which stands for All Directional Flying Object. At slow speeds, a DEFO flies like a traditional quadcopter drone. When a DEFO needs an extra boost, two jets built into the back provide horizontal thrust. But this miniature prototype doesn't have jet power quite yet. A DEFO's developers say it will also be able to fly upside down and with the right jets, could go supersonic without a traditional sonic boom. Adifo's unique design could prove useful in the development of other unmanned aerial vehicles, combat aircraft, and suborbital vehicles. Right now, Adifo's inventors are looking for partners to help take this flying saucer to even greater heights. Imagine a high altitude solar plane that could stay in the air for a whole year. That's the vision behind the APUS Duo high altitude pseudo satellite. The APUS Duo could someday be put to work gathering environmental and atmospheric data, relaying internet and radio signals over long distances, or helping with military surveillance. The wings of this prototype are covered in solar panels. It has a wingspan of about 32 feet, roughly one-third the size of the final version. No word yet on when we'll see a full-sized APUS Duo, but you can bet we'll have it covered. Feast your eyes on Phoenix, the first aircraft to fly like a fish. Most fish adjust their buoyancy in water by inflating and deflating their swim bladder. Phoenix acts in a similar way, alternating between a heavier than aircraft and a lighter than air balloon by adjusting the amount of helium in its fuselage and releasing compressed air out the back for forward propulsion. Phoenix is battery powered and its batteries are recharged by solar panels on the wing. Developers say their current goal is to get Phoenix flying at an altitude of about 66,000 feet. Eventually, Phoenix could be an affordable way to help launch microsatellites into orbit and relay digital communications. The team behind Phoenix is currently looking for manufacturing partners to assist in the next phase of development. Flap-free flight could be cheaper, stealthier, and safer than traditional aircraft designs. The MAGMA Unmanned Aerial Vehicle is here to test that out. In this test flight, the MAGMA UAV takes off using its flaps to maneuver like a traditional plane. Once in flight, however, it tests two new kinds of flight control. The first is called wing circulation control. It involves air from the engine being blown supersonically through small vents around the wing in order to change the aircraft's direction. The other type of control tested is called fluidic thrust vectoring. For this test, the engine's exhaust is deflected in order to maneuver the vehicle. Less moving parts on an aircraft means less moving parts to manufacture and maintain, which could lead to a cheaper aircraft. This technology could also reduce aircraft's radar presence, since these new flight controls are less disturbing to the surrounding air than adjustable flaps. This technology is purely experimental at this point, and the data gathered during these test flights will be used to guide future research and tests. Which experimental flight technology do you think is going to have the greatest effect on the aerospace industry? Let us know your predictions down in the comments. For more futuristic flying tech, click here, and for more fun videos from CNET, click right down here. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. That's all for this week. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time.